What's going on, Lee Jim Beast? Matty Ice here, Leads for Locals. Got an awesome video for you today. Going to be talking about what I believe is one of the most powerful strategies for using the Go High Level Chat widget to generate more leads for your business. Uh, it's just an overall great way to convert your current website traffic into actual leads. People get you know getting them into your funnel, your workflows, your uh, follow up sequences, etc. It's an awesome thing to do for your um, your own business as well as if you're an agency owner doing this for your clients. Really great strategy. So make sure you stick to the end. Going to talk about uh, how the overall strategy works first, and then show you step by step how to actually get this created and, and set up inside of Go High Level. So uh, my only ask as usual, guys, just real quick, if you find the video helpful, please smash that like button. Make sure you subscribe. Check out the links in the description. Always have good stuff for you guys there. And if you don't have Go High Level yet, uh, if you don't mind supporting the channel and the content, please go through my affiliate link for Go High Level. It gives you a two-week free trial. Really appreciate it. All right, guys, let's talk about the overall strategy first and how we're using the Go High Level Chat widget. So it comes down to how the Go High Level Chat widget actually works. And it's a, a little bit different than like your live messenger kind of chat widgets where you can type back and forth and, you know, the, the person on your website can literally just type back and forth inside the messenger chat widget right on the website. Uh, the way Go High Level's chat widget works is uh, they basically it's kind of like an opt-in form. They put their name, email, phone number, they type in their message. Uh, it says success or, you know, it acknowledges like, Hey, you know, we'll reach out shortly, whatever. And then if you go to the conversations tab, go to recents or unread, you'll see the message and you can text and email back and forth. And that's great. But it's just uh, a lot different than an actual live messenger chat widget. So the way I use it is I, I basically treat it like an opt-in form where, uh, instead of asking people like right here, uh, you know, hey, do you have questions I can answer or click here to ask a question, things like that. Um, instead, I just offer my free lead magnet. All right. And that's basically the, the strategy here where uh, uh, just a really good way to convert website traffic into actual leads. And I just find it's a lot more attractive to people than asking a question. Now, I'm not saying that, you know, leaving it as uh, asking a question like that doesn't work, but. I just find people respond to lead magnets a lot better. So that's what I do. So what we do here is uh, under sites uh, and then chat widget. Uh, let's break how, let's break down how we set this up. Now, the first thing too, guys, when it comes to this strategy is you have to have a really good lead magnet. And now um, if you're not sure what to offer or, you know, how to create a really good lead magnet, I've done a lot of training on the channel for that. Um, I'll have a link down below to another, another video on creating a really solid lead magnet that's very attractive to your audience. So you're getting more and more and more opt-ins. Okay. So, uh, but let, let's break down what we need to put here. So the intro message, instead of saying, you know, do you have a question I can answer, click here, whatever. Uh, I just say click here to request your free XYZ lead magnet, whatever that is. I'm going to use my SaaS agency as an example. So uh, my SaaS product is called Elite Broker. It's built for the business loan industry to help brokers generate and convert more business loan leads and appointments. So that's what I'm going to use. And I offer a free uh, business loan lead generation masterclass. I'll click here to request our free business loan lead generation masterclass. Now, obviously this is going to depend on your business. Uh, I find with like agencies and professional services, free guides, free masterclasses or webinars, something where it's a longer sales process. Those tend to work really good for those industries. If you're a local business, restaurant, hair salon, chiropractor, things like that, you know, free guides can work, but it's more like discounts, free trials, things like that, free custom plans, stuff, you know, just, uh, you, you may need to test out a couple of different things, but again, go check out the training on creating a free lead magnet down below. Now I usually turn off return visitors, not for any particular reason. I just, uh, I, I don't have any use for it. Uh, I don't have any, anything that I do with it, but uh, feel free to play around with that if you want. So the widget window, the header here, uh, I just put in earlier to save some mess or uh, save some messages. Wow. Uh, to save some time, the header, uh, I'm basically just like, like, what are, what are they going to get from this free lead magnet? So obviously we have their attention. They clicked on the chat bubble to request this free masterclass. In this case, I want to stay consistent with what they clicked on. So there, there's no confusion. They don't feel like, uh, they're in the wrong place or they clicked on the wrong thing, you know, th just stuff like that. So uh, what are they going to get with your free lead magnet? Well, in this case, they're going to learn how to generate exclusive leads for their lending business. Pretty simple stuff. Okay. Now the intro message for this part, well, we want to give them very clear instructions on what they need to do because this is not just 
they're not just filling out a form where it's name, email, phone number, then they click submit. They have to actually fill out the message field right now. And uh, cause we don't have a way of turning that off, at least not that I'm aware of. And uh, so we want to give them clear instructions on what they need to do to request this free lead magnet. So what I put here, complete the form below and type in masterclass in the message field to request a free lead or the, the free masterclass in this case. All right. So they're going to put their name, email or phone number, email, and then they type in masterclass and then they click send. That's it. Uh, let's see what else you can turn off agency branding. If you're doing this for clients, probably don't want this on your client's chat widget. Maybe they mind, maybe they don't. I don't know. Um, I usually turn it off for my clients though. And then acknowledgement settings is basically the confirmation. And we're going to, uh, for the acknowledgement greeting, we're just going to put success and then the message. What would you normally say on your confirmation page after someone opts into your funnel? It's usually, you know, you'll, uh, as an example here, you'll receive your free masterclass via email shortly. Please check your spam folder just in case. That's it. Um, now, another thing you can do too is uh, you can put like uh, if you have, and I really recommend this guys, especially uh, if you're an agency owner uh, or some type of professional service where a lot of education is involved, you should have some type of Facebook group, LinkedIn group, whatever. Um, use this as an opportunity to get them into another channel of communication, whether it's a group, you know, subscribe to our YouTube channel, you know, message us on our Facebook page. If you want to speak to a live agent right now, something like that, you know, you know utilize this, uh, th this confirmation right here, and then just paste a link to that channel right now. Uh, once you're done with that, uh, go ahead and click save. And then we just get the code here and you're going to paste this into onto your website, wherever uh, your tracking is. Uh, to do this and go high level, it's pretty easy. We're just going to copy code. We're going to head over to our funnels, open this up. And if you're using like Wix or whatever your WordPress, um, there, it's usually pretty easy to get access to your tracking settings. So uh, we just go to settings here for the funnel uh, in the body tracking code, just paste that in and make sure this is enabled chat widget enabled. Uh, it should work anyways, even like with, uh, as long as you paste it into the body tracking code, but just turn that on just in case and then click save. All right. Um, but whatever, uh, tool you're using for your website, um, just make sure you paste that into the body tracking code, uh, where, wherever that is. All right. Now that's pretty much it as far as setting up the actual chat widget itself. And, uh, but now we need to make sure that we have an automation for it. like what actually happens after somebody uh, submits that form, right? That's really important. So, uh, we're going to go to automation. Now, the way I think about this is if, if someone landed on like, uh, my actual landing page or my opt-in page, I'm sorry, to get that free masterclass and they didn't do the chat widget, they landed on the actual opt-in page. What would you do? Well, typically you're, uh, you're going to send the, the email. Uh, with the free the free lead magnet uh, i like to send a reminder email as well send a text message just uh, thanking them say hey check your spam folder to to get that free lead magnet that you just requested uh, and, and at that point it really depends on how aggressive you want to be obviously you want to have a long-term follow-up sequence as well um, emails text messages maybe voice drops but uh, what kind of notifications do we want to send out do we want somebody to reach out to them thank them for requesting the free lead magnet and then maybe book an appointment. You know, it just depends on the, the business that you're running. So under automations, we're going to click on create workflow, start from scratch. And I'm just going to show you guys the workflow trigger that you need here. Uh, so that whenever somebody uh, submits the form inside that chat widget, this workflow gets triggered. So we're going to do a new workflow trigger. We're going to find customer replied. We're going to click on reply channel or add the filter. I'm sorry. And then reply channel down here at the bottom. And we're going to choose chat widgets, save trigger. And at that point, uh, some basic things that, uh, that I recommend doing for this is adding a tag. You always want to add tags for pretty much every uh, workflow that you have. So add a tag here. You could put uh, chat widget masterclass opt-in. Yours would be whatever the type of lead magnet you have. Is a free guide, free discount code, whatever. Chat widget masterclass opt-in, click add new tag. It'll add it right here. The next one would be maybe an opportunity stage. Uh, so maybe adding them to, so we'll, we'll create an update opportunity and then we'll select the pipeline. In this case, would be elite broker. We'll do masterclass opt-in. And then uh, right here, you can also do uh, under opportunity source, you could put chat widget. 
so that you know when you, when you're in the opportunity stage, that's where your pipeline is, and you're looking at all of your leads in that stage, you can very quickly see which ones came from the chat widget. Um, you can also do some pretty cool reports uh, later on down the road, uh, so you can see how effective that chat widget is. Uh, let's see, you can put a lead value here, select status. I usually put open for this. Uh, I do allow them to move to previous stages as well. Click save, good to go. And then let's see what else. Uh, obviously you wanna send your email. So sending a link or a PDF download, whatever it is, I usually recommend a link or, or maybe it's a discount, like an actual discount code. And then you link out to your website to, to purchase. Maybe it's a, an appointment calendar, right? So you send your email. I would send your text as well. So the text is pretty simple. I usually do like, hey, and then custom value will use their first name. Thanks for requesting our free lead generation masterclass. Uh, should be in your email shortly. Text spam just in case. Let me know what you think and if you have any questions. Okay. And then maybe sign it with your name, your Twilio number, whatever. All right, save action. Same thing with the email. I like using email templates, but that's a whole other video. Um, you can literally just type in the message right here, link out to the free lead magnet. Uh, there's also some really cool stuff you can do with uh, like Facebook custom audiences as well. If you want to do retargeting, create lookalike audiences based on these types of opt-ins, I definitely recommend that. You can also create uh, tasks. So if you want to create a task for a specific user to contact this person, so you could title new chat, uh, chat widget lead, contact ASAP, something like that. Uh, and then, you know, you can put in their, uh, their, their contact information right inside the task, name, email, phone number, assign it to a specific user. And then, uh, you know, when, when do you want that task due? Uh, internal notifications as well. I'm not going to go through all this stuff. Like there's so many things you could do with go high level. That's why I love it. But, uh, the, the point is though, is that we're, <clears throat> we're generating leads here using the chat widget instead of having them ask questions we're, we're getting them into our ecosystem, our pipeline, because um, here's the thing is when they opt in for that free lead magnet, like you just saw with the text message, we can ask them if they have questions right there. So why not get their name, email, uh, get them into a long-term follow-up sequence and then ask them, ask them if they have questions, right? Because now we can send them really valuable content. You could do the same thing if they have a question as well, but they're, they're very specifically requesting that actual masterclass free guide discount code right so they're already showing uh some pretty high intense uh they're, they're looking for something very specific right so uh anyways that's uh that's enough for this video guys uh that, that's pretty much it it's not too complicated what do you guys think it's pretty easy using the go high level chat widget it's pretty easy to set up a lot of different ways to use this this is just how i like to use it and i just find that offering some type of free lead magnet that your audience responds to really well is just a great way to get people into your pipeline so why not use the, the chat widget to do that. So let me know what you guys think. I would love to hear your feedback on this and also how you, got, you guys are using the chat widget. Drop a comment down below. And uh, either way, hope you guys are crushing it. Again, please smash that like button. Check out the links. Uh, go through my affiliate link, all that good stuff. Really appreciate you guys. And I will talk to you in the next one. Matty Ice is out.